Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about two ways in which you can um, get past the activation uh, lock, the iCard activation lock. So if you guys have bought a device secondhand and it's still locked to someone else's Apple ID, then I'm going to show you how to get past this and um, still bring back some functionality to the device. So I'm going to be showing you one of these methods, which I know works 100% for everyone. And I'm going to be talking about another method which is actually a better method, but doesn't work on the latest iOS 8.4 just yet. So I'll still explain it though. Anyway, so I'm going to go and you want to start setting up the iPod or the iPhone. So you get you should get it on this screen. Slide to set up. So you slide, choose your language, choose your country. And then when you get to the Wi-Fi, you want to choose a Wi-Fi, put in the correct password. And I just put that in wrong. Sorry about that. All right, so you're going to connect to the Wi Fi, and then the next button should show or it should take you to the next screen, and then you'll be on the activation lock screen. So it says you have to enter the Apple ID that's used to set up the iPod, and you can't go any further than that, you can't click next. If you press the home button, you simply just get some options. So to bring back some functionality to this device, all we need to do for the method I'm gonna show you is we're gonna press the home button once, click on Wi-Fi settings, and it's gonna bring back up the Wi-Fi. Now you click on the little I, and you want to first of all forget the network that you just joined to. Then go back, wait for the tick to go. Then click the I again, scroll down to DNS. And I'll have free DNS servers in the description. You want to choose the one that best suits uh, your country. So, alright, so this is the DNS for Europe. So you want to type that in the DNS and you want to click back. And then you're just going to wait a couple of seconds. Then you want to join the network again. So you want to put back in the password, so I'll quickly do that. And then join the network. And you want to wait until you get your Wi-Fi connection. And then a little pop-up should come up from the bottom of the screen. And when you see this, this means you have successfully connected to this server. So as you can see, it's iCloudDNSBypass.com. And it says, hello, hello you have select you successfully connect to my server. And uh, it says a little bit about it. Now what you can actually do within this server is still use quite a lot of the features within iOS without ever ha actually having to activate the iPod. So if you go down to, first of all, this language, so you can choose a language, but then you can go down to menu. And within here, there is a lot of cool stuff. So first of all, there's an, a chat for everyone who is locked out of their device. So you can actually go in there and chat with other people about it. Um, there's the flashlight, which actually gives you access to the camera. Although it does seem to be a little bit glitchy on the iPod touch. So if I open up the camera, as you can see, it's just black. It doesn't actually show anything, but you can still use the flashlight within here, which also seems to be a bit glitchy, but yeah, it does have some features there with the camera, but, um, what you're going to most likely probably want to use is social, which gives you access to social media. So Facebook, Twitter, many things like that, Instagram. Uh, there's actually just the internet, so you can go to any website you want. Mail, maps, SMS, news, markets, interest in videos. So you can actually go on YouTube, Vine, all these different things here. And um, audio, so you can listen to music. And um, there's applications, and I'm going to go over this in a bit, a bit more detail in a minute. But there's a few things you can use here. And then finally, there's games, which is actually pretty cool. You can play um, Flappy Bird within this server without ever leaving the setup app. So it does seem to have a few adverts because it's obviously this is all web-based. So you do need an internet connection to be able to use your device like this. But um, it's better than nothing. It's better than being locked out completely. So you click skip add and there you go you're playing flappy bird and the device is not even activated so it's quite cool and um you just go back into the menu 
just below that we do have set in server information and iCloud freedom so you guys can play around with this as well about this device and um, seems to think it's an iPhone but it's not but it's, as you can see I'm on iOS 8.4 and iCloud activation is locked so yeah that is basically how you can bring back some functionality to your device and actually there's quite a lot of good stuff in here so yeah now I'm going to talk about the other method which I can't actually show you because it doesn't work on iOS 8.4 but if you guys are on an earlier version then you can probably do this and this is going to be a permanent removal of the iCloud lock so basically what you do you do do the same thing I just did so you get onto this server page you want to go to menu applications and then scroll down to where you see the crashes so there's crash 3, crash 2 and crash 1 and uh, iOS 7 only as you see there crash 1 then we have captive portal and iOS 8 to 8.3 so what you, these basically do these buttons here are designed to crash the setup.app so if you don't know much technical information about iOS the screen that we're on when we're setting it up and the activation lock that's literally all within an application although it may seem like it's just a setup system is actually an application that allows you to set up your device so the idea is that we have to crash the app just like any other app can crash the idea is to crash the setup app and that will put you on the home screen so depending on your version you're going to use one of these different crash things and try to crash out of the setup.app once you're out of it and you're on the home screen then what you can do is connect your device to a computer jailbreak the device and then you can go once you're jailbroken the device, you can download iFile from Cydia, open up iFile, go all the way back as far as you can go, go into your applications folder, find the setup.app, the app that we're in right now, and you can simply delete setup.app from, uh, from, uh, the, from the iPhone. And once that's done, the iCloud lock should be permanently gone from your device, so you'll be able to reboot and it won't affect it. So. That is the only other method I would know of how to permanently delete the iCloud lock. So you would, it would involve jailbreaking, unfortunately, but yeah, and I can't actually show you right now because my device is on iOS 8.4. But yeah, so anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as you can see, it is still still locked, but we've done some cool stuff. We've played a Flappy Bird. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe for more, and I'm going to see you next video.